This is the truth about hymen and virginity from childhood to menopause. What it really is, what it isn't, and why it shouldn't define virginity. Follow curiously. Let's break it down clearly. The hymen is one of the most misunderstood parts of the human body. For centuries, it has been wrapped in myths, fear, shame, and false ideas about virginity, especially for girls and women. Yet medically, the hymen is simply a small piece of tissue with no moral meaning. Understanding it clearly, from childhood through menopause, replaces fear with knowledge and curiosity with truth. What the hymen actually is. The hymen is a thin, flexible membrane located at the opening of the vagina. It is part of the external genitalia and is present at birth. It does not seal the vagina completely. If it did, menstrual blood could not flow later in life. Instead, it usually has one or more openings. Its size, thickness, elasticity, and shape vary widely from person to person just like height, skin tone, or fingerprints. Medically, the hymen has no proven essential function. Some theories suggest it may offer minor protection against infection in infancy, but this is not firmly established. What is established is that it naturally changes over time. 1. Hymen in childhood. In babies and young girls, the hymen is often thicker and more noticeable because of maternal hormones present at birth. As these hormones fade, the hymen becomes thinner and softer. During childhood, the hymen can stretch or change shape through normal activities such as running, climbing, cycling, dancing, gymnastics, or even accidental falls. None of these have anything to do with sexual activity. Importantly, many girls lose parts of their hymenal tissue long before puberty without ever knowing it and without pain or bleeding. 2. Puberty and Adolescence When puberty begins, estrogen levels rise. This hormone makes the hymen more elastic and stretchy. This is why some adolescents may have a hymen that stretches easily without tearing. Menstrual flow also passes through the hymenal opening, sometimes widening it gradually over time. At this stage, many myths begin to appear, especially the idea that an intact hymen equals virginity. Medically, this is false. Some people are born with very little hymenal tissue. Others have a hymen that stretches rather than tears. Some never bleed even with penetration. Biology does not follow cultural rules. Types of hymen natural variations. There is no single normal hymen. Common types include annular hymen, a ring-shaped opening, crescent-shaped hymen, tissue mainly at the bottom of the vaginal opening, septate hymen, a band of tissue creating two small openings, cribriform hymen, multiple small openings, imperforate hymen, no opening at all rare and requires medical care at puberty, all of these are natural anatomical variations, not indicators of sexual history. How the hymen changes or breaks. The hymen does not always break dramatically. It may stretch, thin, or develop small tears over time. This can happen due to physical activity, medical exams, or tampon use, accidental injury, vaginal penetration, sexual or non sexual. Bleeding is not guaranteed. Pain is not guaranteed. Many people experience neither. The idea that first intercourse must cause bleeding is a cultural myth, not a medical rule. Virginity, a social idea, not a medical one. Virginity is not a biological condition. There is no medical test that can prove it. Doctors cannot determine sexual history by examining the hymen. The World Health Organization and medical associations worldwide agree that using the hymen as proof of virginity is unscientific and harmful. Virginity is a personal, cultural, or emotional concept not something stored in tissue. Adulthood, childbirth, and later life. During adulthood, especially after childbirth, the hymen often remains as small remnants called hymenal tags. After vaginal delivery, it usually stretches significantly. This is normal and healthy. As menopause approaches, estrogen levels drop. The vaginal tissues, including any remaining hymenal tissue, become thinner and less elastic. This change is part of natural aging, not damage. The truth that matters. The hymen is a small, 
variable piece of tissue not a seal of purity, honor, or worth. Understanding it frees people from fear, shame, and harmful myths. Knowledge protects dignity. Curiosity guided by science leads to confidence. When we separate biology from judgment, we allow health education to do what it is meant to do. Empower, not control. If you found this educational and exciting, please subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts below. Tell us, what part surprised you the most?